In today's video, we are back at Ayrshire's number one livestock market, and it's another sale of breeding sheep. But this time, we're buying instead of selling, and things definitely don't go to plan. So if you watch this video and decide that you enjoy it, please consider clicking that subscribe button. It's 100% free, and it means you will never miss a video as I share my farming journey with you all. Now let's get started. Good morning sheep fans, Cami's the name, Sheep's the game and we are back in air market again today. Are you getting sick of this? If so, you know, just let me know. We're here with a purpose again today. We're going to try and buy this pen of blackface ewes. They're actually just running out behind me here just now, so this was good timing. These were the ewes that myself and Big Stuart saw over on the Isle of Arran. About 200 blackies to shear? Yeah, I don't know. About 180 blackies to shear for myself and Stuart. Very good looking blackies. I'm probably going to buy them off them in a private deal. I'm just going to work away at them today to see if I can. I tried to buy them off Jeff privately, but he held fast. He knows the market's the place to be this year with the trades sky high. And that's where he's bought them. They're first in the ring. Hopefully that's good for the buyer, not so good for the seller. Is that how it usually works, Stevie? I don't know. Nobody wants to be first in the ring, is that right? No, no. so maybe good for me trying to buy and not so good for him selling. <laughs> it's going to be good for somebody. So there's a fantastic show of sheep in here today. As before, we have a variety of colours. We've got a nice bright orange here, orange again. A more common maybe with the blackies is this darker colour here that you see behind me. Real variety, real good sheep. Most of these are sort of aged blackies that you're seeing around me here. So these are like five year old draft jows, we would call them. They've reared a few lambs. Quite often they're what's called uncrossed. So they've never reared a mule lamb or a crossed lamb, which means they've had a slightly easier life because it's quite hard on blackies and cheevets rearing mule lambs because they're big. Whereas if they've just reared their own blackface breed, it's a bit easier on them. They've usually had a bit of an easier life and they'll sell a bit better as five-year-old drafts. But that's not always the case. Are you bidding? I've got a present in the car for the job. Oh, you're some man. You're so some man. I'm going to get it before you go away. Is that a bag of feed? <laughs> bag, of, ma bag of mania. <laughs> that would price it. That's a bit too much. Now, I don't have as much time to wander around the market and show you as much as perhaps I did in the previous videos, but you get the gist of what is happening. There's a big variety of stock fantastic looking sheep and it's all go very exciting day a lot of blackies here a lot of cheviots as well which we don't often see at this sale of air it's a great time to be a seller not so good time to be a buyer because the sheep trade is so high just now but we're getting more for our fat prime lambs so we should be able to spend a little bit more on breeding sheep but anyway good jim i all good here for the first day at a sale here the day some buzz for them aye aye just in getting Get them used to the, the used to it, Ken. As I said before, the sheep that I am trying to buy today are first in the ring, so there's no time to mess around. We get ringside, get a good spot near the auctioneer, and get ready for the bidding. And just as we are getting to the critical point in this sale, this happens. And I don't know whether to bid or try and stop the sheep. Luckily for me, the auctioneer is such a professional, he doesn't even miss a beat. <laughs> it was too good for the camera, mate. I can't wait, you can't stop things like that. Did I buy the intro? Aye. Aye, aye. <laughs> So despite all that commotion, I still managed to buy those sheep for £118, which is roughly US$160. US dollars. Now the sheep that I have just bought were four years old, which is a year younger than most of the draft ewes being sold in this sale. And although after the first lot I have the sheep I wanted, I of course stay and watch more of the sale. Oh, 
Okay, so we got the pen of blackies that we wanted at 118 pounds. 32 of them. We're just gonna go and find them, get a look at them, show them to you. Once these ones slip past, see what you think. But that's not all that I bought. I also bought a pen of Neil Ewe Lambs at a fantastic price. I actually bid on nearly every pen of Neil Ewe Lambs here today because the trade was definitely easier than it has been at other sales. And sitting in the car park there waiting to come in and lift my sheep, I was just thinking, why didn't I buy more? Like kicking myself a little bit, I should have been in there and bought more, but I didn't. So we'll see them as well. What else did I get? Went absolutely crazy and split a pen of Cheviot Gimmels with a boy. So I have 12 Cheviot Gimmels that cost me, I can't, I can't say it on here cost me £178, but I only got 12 of them, so it's not crazy. They're nice gimmels, really nice gimmels, originally off of the Isle of Arran, so they should go on and do well with me. Here are my 32 sheep. Let's get them down to the trailer and then we'll go and find these other sheep that I have bought. So here we have them, our pen of 15 new lambs that are without a doubt my buy of the year. These things sometimes happen in the market, not very often this year, but it's happened this time. Okay, so we're all loaded up here at Air. Spent more money than I intended to, but it's just the year that it is. We're getting a little bit more back for our fat lambs. So I suppose that's the way it has to work. Other things, breeding sheep, tups, are all gonna be a little bit more expensive. Let's get them home. You'll see them run off the trailer, and that can be the end credits for this one, sheep fans. Hope you've enjoyed another day at the market, and we'll see you for the next one.